So my friend calls me one day and he says, my uncle has Frank Sinatra's tuxedo. Do you think you could sell that? There's a universal fascination with what makes Hollywood tick. In my 18 years of running Hollywood Land Antiques, I've pretty much seen it all. Join me, Jeffrey Von Meyer, as I explore Hollywood, looking for unique, historic, and rare items to sell in my shop. Jeff. Hey. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Jeff, I hear that you have a suit. My name is Richard Shelton, and I'm an actor and a singer. And I played Frank Sinatra in a drama called Rat Pack Confidential in the theatre in London. Nancy Sinatra, Frank's first wife, uh, would routinely gather up clothes that they were no longer using and drop them off at this boutique. Oh, here it is. Can I touch it? <laughs> Better than that. You wanna... Really? Try it on? Can I try it on? Sure. Well, what we discovered when we did the drama was that, um, theoretically, I'm exactly the same dimensions as Frank Sinatra, the same height, uh, the same proportions, you know, the right. same shoulder. Well, this is going to prove it, isn't it? This is... <laughs> so, I have always dreamt of touching something that belonged to Frank Sinatra, right. be it a, a lighter or a, a wallet or I don't know anything, but to actually hold his tuxedo is quite something. My father liked big band music jazz music and I remember he had a, a cassette you remember cassettes little cassettes and it was the my way recording and I played that more than he ever did and he was a drummer actually he, boy, he, his, his hobby his passion was drumming and sometimes I as a, I'm talking I was a kid I used to pick up a drumstick and sing into the drumstick <laughs> practicing and thinking I get this I really get this I get the shape of the song I get I get the sound, I get, I get the lyricism, I just get it. This is quite a moment to be actually trying on Frank Sinatra's very own uh, tuxedo and it's looking pretty good. What do you know? <laughs> wow. It fits. Wow. It's uh, extraordinary, it's isn't it? The detail, yeah. the little embroidery yeah. here. Cyril Castle, Conduit Street in London. Oh. How about that? I guess the true test. If we try the pants on. If you want to try them on, let's do it. So I do some research and then I find out that, yeah, they, they sell at auction fairly regularly. I'd say that's the fit. Good boy. Look at that. I mean, the length, everything. The length. I think the highest price on a tuxedo was $8,000, and that was through a, like Sotheby's or one of the bigger auction houses. And then I saw stuff down, you know, around 1500 that went at auction. And to have this suit, to be able to stand on stage and play Frank Sinatra and sing wearing this would be, I mean, more than a dream come true. It well, would be unbelievable. I would happily sell my home and all its contents. Frank, when we did him in the play, the, the, he had a lighter voice than I did. It was a, the speaking resonance was just about you, uh -huh. and it was a little clipped, and this was Felix. Uh, can you pay attention? The violins have got to hit the, the downbeat has got, it was all, all about here, you know? And uh, that was about his cadence when he spoke, I think. You sound like a kid from Hoboken. There you go. <laughs> and uh, when he sang, it was in the essence of, uh, let me think of something. His favorite song that he sang to a picture of Ava Gardner in the studio was in the wee small hours of the morning. He sang this song to her. It's a beautiful song. It's, um, in the wee small hours of the morning. Something like that. <laughs> Give me chills. <laughs> it's like I'm in the room with Sinatra. There you go. Wow. Awesome. I mean, I, I don't know who else should ha have this besides you. Once Richard walked in, I got to meet him. We started chatting, telling me his history. It was, there was no question in my mind. This is where the tuxedo belonged. This guy had to get it. Even if I sold it for less, so that he would be the one to have it, I wanted him to have it. I know it's not cheap, but it's certainly a better deal than more, like auction results that I've right. seen. Let's do it. It's a deal. <laughs> he may be doing this performance at the Hollywood Bowl, and one of the caveats to getting the deal on the tuxedo is he has to give us box seats for me and the entire crew. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, Richard. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Since I saw you last, the tuxedo has been with me to Kuala Lumpur and it's been to London and I wore it for the first time on a television show, uh, on a chat show where I was performing with Roger Moore, Sir Roger Moore, uh, as in James Bond. I was backstage just before going on and he said, uh, I explained why I was on the TV show and I was going to sing to promote the show we were doing in London and he said, um, show me the inside of, of the suit. Mm -hmm. So I did, obviously, um, and here it is, Cyril Castle. Right. And he said, yes, that's Sinatra's, that's Frank's. Because Frank Sinatra had seen Roger Moore's suits and had said, Roger, where'd you get your suits made? And Roger Moore had said, Cyril Castle of London. And that's exactly where Sinatra went. You've got to be kidding me. Absolutely. So James Bond... <laughs> sent Frank to this tailor. Yeah. And wow. He, and he said, yes, he verified Sinatra's suit. As promised, got you the letter. Okay. So a little this more... exciting. Proof. Okay. Just sort of tells the story of when he acquired it. And uh, you should definitely keep that with the tuxedo because it's all part of the provenance. Well, the first time I sang in it was on television. The second time I wore it was at the first private wedding at Kensington Palace ever. And I wore it to sing with a big band at that wedding. Wow. Yeah. So, so I, I, I love the fact that his suit, has, uh, <laughs> it's living again. Yes, you know? clearly you have some strange connection to the man. Mm. Um, that's a good thing. It's great. Another time I went to Man's Chinese Theatre right. to see his hands and feet um, in the cement and I noticed not only did my hands and feet fit exactly, I mean exactly, but when I looked at the date that they were done, it was my birthday. Wow. It just well, warms my heart when something I have come across ends up in the right place. Yeah. I really believe in this life that it's important to dream. Some people say you don't dream, don't waste your time dreaming, but I believe, and it's the way I live my life, if you don't have a dream, you can never have a dream come true.